More Apple news for you with devices like the iPhone XR and iPhone 11. Apple has tried and largely succeeded in making some of its best smartphone features available on a budget. That important work continues with the new iPhone SE, which Apple says will be available for pre-order starting uh, again last week as of April 17th. There's a lot to get into, but the iPhone SE was a device that was always defined by its price tag. So let's get that out of the way first. Apple's latest smartphone will be available in black and white and uh, red finishes too, and in the following storage configurations. You can get a 64 gig for 399, a 128 gig for 449, or a 256 gig phone for 549 bucks. It's worth noting too that the base model SE costs $50 less than the comparable iPhone 8 Apple has just discontinued. Curiously, the larger iPhone 8 Plus will continue to be sold in certain markets around the world. This puts Apple in a surprisingly strong position to compete in a sea of mid-range devices, which is good news for iOS fans on a budget or small phone aficionados. The last time Apple released a dedicated value smartphone was back in 2016 with the original iPhone SE, a device that squeezed modern, at the time, performance into beloved iPhone 5S bodies. As multiple leaks have suggested, that approach hasn't changed for this new SE. In many ways, it's an iPhone 11 adapted to fit inside the body of an iPhone 8. We're once again working on a 4.7 inch retina display, an IP67 rating for water and dust resistance, a classic touch ID sensor, wireless charging, and a single rear facing camera. More importantly, that means you'll finally be able to buy a cheap iPhone with Apple's latest A13 Bionic chipset. It's the exact same one used in the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max with no tweaks or modifications in sight. This, if it wasn't clear, is a huge deal. It makes flagship level computing available to audiences even the iPhone 11 couldn't reach. The iPhone SE might look dated, but it seems to pack plenty of power and some modern finishes into a remarkably accessible package. The bigger question is whether the SE can carve out a niche in a mid-range market increasingly defined by big beautiful screens, multiple cameras, and even 5G. We'll have to wait a few weeks to find out for sure. Thank you so much for watching your weekly tech update. If you have a story you think we need to feature on the program, send me an email, djraymcneil at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at your weekly tech update and check out the podcast, audio and video versions available on iTunes, Google, Spotify, Audio Burst, and elsewhere on the interwebs. Till next time, I'm Ray McNeil. Stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. Now it's time for your moment of joy. Tech Update brought to you by Holiday Home Care, Phillip Island, Victoria, Australia. It's your turn to relax.